and the Christian and Muslim clerics has cautioned 36 state governors against diverting the 2 billion naira given to each state by the federation government to caution the effect of fuel subsidy removal on the Nigerian citizens. They gave the advice over the weekend in Katina charging governors to ensure that the funds are used accordingly for social and economic growth for interests of all Nigerian masses, not for personal use. The Christian Association of Nigeria, Katina State Chapter, Reverend Dr. Joseph Hayab, says the economic hardship that the citizens of the country are going through cannot just be solved by a mere palliative, noting that diverting it will add to more changes, challenges, and steer citizens against government. 100 trailers of rice. It will still be diverted. At the end of the day, many people in the community will not even get, get off to one modu of rice. So what palliative are you talking about? You're just promoting another form of criminal uh, stealing or promoting hunger in another form. So I think government is supposed to think, what do we do to change the lives of our citizens? What do we do to improve the welfare of the community? Than all these things. But asking someone to buy grains and share to people, how many times have the grain really go to the people? The grains will still come. We knew what happened in the previous administration. And some people in Nigeria were benefiting. Where are they? And we still have those people begging all over the street. We still have people. See, for of course, you receive every day from people who will tell you that they didn't eat yesterday. They don't even have one naira. So they just need 1,000 naira. 500 naira is all they are looking for. And you are talking about palliative. What is that? So can we find something that will better the citizens, better the community, better our people? And then we... Also, Cardinal State Islamic cleric Imam Hussein Makajola says, fairness, equity and justice to sh should be done in sharing the palliative to the vulnerable Nigerians urgent government to punish any officials caught diverting what belongs to the poor masses for personal gain to be dealt with. To advise our various governors, they should fear God. They should not distribute what they are dispalliative in a way that some community will say that they didn't bring anything to us. Some, some community will say, ah, we thank God. We are, the government is doing well when they are not doing well. They should fear God. They should fear God. They should not distribute this palliative in a, in a biased way. They should do, federal governments have done their own part, but it's left to the governor to do the justice. They should share this palliative in a justice manner. Can you imagine that in the next six months, Everybody who wants to go to work in Kaduna will not pay one dime. He will just go out of his house and there will be a vehicle to take him to work to and fro. He's not going to pay a cobble. The economic empowerment of that person who goes to work without paying money will be higher than the palliative that is shared. Imagine that people who felt sick can no longer, will no longer buy drugs in the next eight months or six months. Whether if you are sick, when you just go to hospital, as far as you are you have a particular identification, you'll be given medication. The money will be given to chemists, the money will be given to some private hospitals. We will now turn it to our advantage. So if we had improved services like transportation, medication, education, and others, what palliative? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.